Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make this super cool Lebanese bracelet and this was designed by Mystical Lumi on Instagram. I will have her name in the description box below and I'll also bring up her profile here um, really quick. So, I'm just here it is Mystical Lumi. Like I said, I'll have it in the description box below, but you can check out her account here. She has um, created a bunch of original designs. I think she has her own YouTube channel as well. You can just scroll through her pictures. They're very high quality, lots of great color combinations. So uh, make sure to check her out on Instagram and give her a follow for me. And I'm going to show you how to make this bracelet today. So it's fairly easy. It is hook only. So I'm using my hook here. And <clears throat> it's a pretty fun design to make. So. Um, for, I'm just going to start with the colors. So for these octopus bands that are on the sides, I'm going to be using the yellow carnival bands. So they're kind of like a pastel yellow. Then for the neon green medieval that's kind of in the center, I'm going to be using mango. And then for the neon purple in the center as well, I'm going to be using neon green medieval. So, <clears throat> to get started, you're going to want to take one of your bands here and that's going to be my mango so I'm going to take two of those take the first one and cap it on my hook take the second one and just simply pull a band through it just like so and now we're going to take two of these purple um, neon purple bands which I'm again using neon green for pull one <clears throat> one band through the first loop and you're gonna go ahead and turn that around also, sorry that my voice is scratchy. I don't really know why um, it is, but yeah. Anyway, um, pull another band through the other mango band there. So now you should have something like this. Now you're going to take three of those um, yellow pastel bands, these ones on the sides. And <clears throat> first thing you're going to do is pull one band through the first loop, lift it back up, and flip that up and over and reattach. You're going to do that again two more times. So take your um, your yellow band through pull pull it through, sorry, the first two, lift the first loop, take the second loop and fold it over the end of the hook and reattach the outside. One last time through the first two. Reattach the first one. Pull it over and reattach. So now you should have something like this. You're going to go ahead and turn this around on your hook. So you can slide it down or turn it around by pinching it. I'm going to try and pinch it here. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Oops, band popped off. So again, taking your yellow band, pull it through the first loop, and then back up onto the hook. Flip that yellow over the end and reattach. You're going to do that two more times. Take your yellow band here, pull it through the first two, pull the first one back on, lift that over, reattach. And one last time, and reattach. So now you should have something like this, and you're going to go ahead and take two of your mango bands now. And what you're first going to do with your first mango band here is you're going to grab these center two. So what I like to do is just pull through the first four loops, and then lift the outside too. Now when you rearrange this, only pull this yellow band to the outside. We want to leave this green kind of crossing into the center and take the other green and cross it into the center as well, just like so. And now we're going to take the second mango band and do the same thing. You're going to grab these two. <clears throat> Gosh, my voice sounds like a guy today. I'm sorry. Um, you're going to grab these two inner bands. So you're going to be careful and make sure that they, your, your bands stay in order. Pull it through the first four and lift the outer two. And then you're going to rearrange the yellow. And then you're going to take the second mango loop, pull it outside the first one. It's going to be a little bit more difficult to do. but Once you're finished doing that, it should look something like this. And now what you're going to go ahead and do is take two of those neon green medieval bands. Take your first one, pull it through the first three loops, and reattach. You can either flip this around or just do this on one side of the hook like I'm going to do. And do the same thing to the other side, so I'm going to pull it through all five and then just lift these first two. So now you should have something like this. 
You're going to go ahead and take three of your yellow bands for each side. Take your first one, pull it through the first loop, flip that loop back up onto the hook, flip the yellow one over the end, and reattach the part that you were holding. Again, yellow band through the first two, lift the first one, flip that over, reattach the outside one. Again, through the first two, lift the first one, flip over. So, once you have finished that on this side, you're going to go ahead and turn it around. It can be a little bit difficult to pinch, which is why I'm kind of like going off camera. Um, because the angle that I'm at, it's really difficult to pinch uh, the bands and turn them around anyway. Um, so once you have done that, we're going to do the same thing. So hopefully you have the hang of this by now. I'm just going to do this part pretty quickly. You're going to take your yellow bands and do the same thing that we've been doing the entire time. And once you have six loops on your hook, we're going to go ahead and take those two mango bands again. Taking your first one, you're going to pull it through the center two. I pull it through the first four. You can also take those first two loops off if you like. And then you're going to want to make sure that these neon green bands go over top of the mango band into the middle. Make sure that they do go over top. And then you're going to take your second mango band and pull through those first four bands, then lift the outside two. As you can see, if you try to do like this, like I did with the yellow, it doesn't work, so you kind of have to grab it, pull it to the outside. You want to make sure that the inside loops are just the band that you just pulled through, and they are the same band. Um, but you're going to go ahead and do this until you reach the length of your wrist, or the size that you want to make this. Um, if you still need instructions, you can rewind the video, otherwise I'm going to go ahead and show you how to finish it off here. So to finish it off here, it's super duper simple. Once you're at this point, you'll just take one last mango band and pull it through all six loops, reattach, and then you will attach a C-clip up here. And my band's looking kind of weird there, but um, you'll attach your C-clip here onto the other end, and then you will be finished with this bracelet. So um, this is what my end result looks like for the first part here. But uh, Anyway, that is going to do it for this video, so thank you for watching. Make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe. I will have Mystical Lumi's name in the description box below, so make sure to check her out on Instagram and give her a follow for me. Um, but that is all I'm going to have for this video, so I hope to see you next time.